Knife are very important for the chef. They're extension of your finger. Basically, you need three knives. A shopping knife, 8 to 12 inch, depending on your hand. Utilité knife and a paring knife. Yes, probably have 200 knives in my house. In any case, the knife is made of teeth here, and when you bang the knife around, those teeth get out of whack. Anything which cuts from a scapel to a saw is made of teeth. So you have to realign the teeth, and you realign it by running it on a steel, like this. On the steel, you have to be careful first to apply pressure. You have to cover the blade completely, that is starting at the heel, finishing at the top, rather than just the center. And not to move your wrist, otherwise you take out the that will realign the teeth, but at some point, there is no more teeth. You have to have a stone, and it's usually a wet stone, and you have to apply pressure on it, about 25 to 30 degree angle on each time, and you have to spend time with it. This is a fairly coarse stone, and sometimes you have very finishing stones, which are very fine, like this one. Or you can even use an electric machine like this one. You use that stone here because you see there is a segment of the stone and the knife, which if you don't remove them with water or oil, will get back into the stone. The stone will get like a piece of marble and it won't be abrasive anymore. If the knife is sharp, sharp enough, it should be able to, this is a very overripe tomato, that knife should be able to cut into it. <laughs>